So I'd like to call to order the uh, design review board regular meeting scheduled for Monday, October 18th, 2021. Um, let's do roll call. Of course, I'm Steve Antonio, chair, and I'm present. Elaine Lang is here. I'm here. Yep. Polly Rice. Here. Anka Dragulski. Here. And Kate Beale will be joining us later, but we do have a quorum. So let's proceed with our first item under new business. It's application 21-22 of the first church of... Yeah. <laughs> Kate, you're going to help me out here? Chris, I'm here. You're going to help me out? Ecclesiastical. <laughs> Thank you very much. Society of Simsbury Incorporate. Uh, the applicant is Linda Lorino of Artifact Signs, the agent applicant for special exception pursuant to section 9.6 of the zoning regulations for the construction of new permanent signs for identification public purposes at institutional land use per plans provide zone R40 located at 689 Hop Meadow Street. So Chris Barnett, I believe you are presenting for the applicant. Is that correct? No. Um, yeah. Hi. My name, my name is Lauren Rose and I own Artifacts and we're the sign company for uh, First Church. We're working for Chris and uh, Linda Loriano actually left my office and went to her office so she could make a better uh, appearance. Um, not enough room here, so she should be on the sec, but um, Artifacts will be presenting uh, for the church. Okay. Steve, I'm on as the chair of the building committee for First Church. Okay. Um, so just uh, to digress for a quick minute, Luke, are you ready to present by chance now? Yeah, we're ready when you are, so. Okay. Uh, can I propose, Laura, that we flip-flop our application so that First Church can get organized with... Um, Linda, I think, is still joining it. Am I correct? Oh, no, I am here. Good evening, commissioners. If you wish, I can continue. Yeah, we'll just go in the normal order then, stick to our uh, agenda. Sorry about that, Linda. Thank you very much. And no worry. I apologize. Running back and forth. Uh, good evening, commissioners. Linda Loriano from Artifact Signs. Um, thank you for your consideration tonight on the design proposal uh, for First Church. Um, as 689 Hope Metal Street. Um, as you have in front of you, um, or if I may share a, a screen of, of the proposal, I originally submitted an application for one main sign and two secondary signs, um, but uh, we then revised the proposal uh, to include directional signs as well and some exterior signs on the wall for directional purposes um, in, in, this, um, in this property. And um, so um, I'm not sure if I have sharing. Um, uh, I, I might be able to. Okay, sure. All right. Sharing here. I'm going to call it up and see if I could get it. Um, can anyone see my screen? No, no, I don't have the sharing. I'm trying. I'm hitting share, and I, I for some reason it's not coming up. Um, Laura, Laura, is it enabled for her to share? Okay. Uh, we have it. For if sure. there it is. Honestly, I'm not sure why it's not sharing. Um, Sometimes if you close out of it and, and then try to go back into it, it works better. But if not, I can try to pull it up from here. Can you please, I am definitely getting share. I'm not getting it. Um, closing out. I have it. I don't know if I can share it. I have it up. Okay, for us. Do I need to be enabled to share? You are enabled. Okay. All right, I'm pulling it up right now. Could you, can you see it? 
You're in. Yes. Okay. Maximize that line so that it could be uh, seen a little bit full size. Okay. There you are. Thank you, Lauren. All right. So if we go to the first page, there are the signs. Um, uh, each letter is going to be representing uh, the signs that you will see um, uh, shortly on the next page. A is the main sign. Yep, that's the main sign. Um, and if you have the proposal in front of you, you're able to see. It's hard, you know, with a side by side. Um, wish we had that view. Um, so the main sign is uh, sign A. If you want to go back, um, Lauren, to the first page to show the site plan. As you so can that's, see, it's right uh, on Hop Meadow, and that's replacing the existing sign. In that intersection, you're going to have the 20, uh, 20 square uh, feet of sign. It's a double face sign. Um, the what it looks like the maximum height of 12 feet, but what that is is mainly the post. Um, the sign uh, will not be uh, more than uh, nine feet from the ground on um, up. And I understand um, that. Uh, I believe it was 10 feet the maximum height um, for, for freestanding sign. But being that this is a very unique situation because it's an R40 zone, which is a residential zone, um, signs that exceeds the height or square footage or quantity um, is only permitted um, through a um, special exception, which we're going for um, tonight at 7 o'clock. But that is the main sign. Um, again, it's 20 square feet per side. And I believe that will be externally illuminated. Do um, you want to talk well, a little bit more about the design? I want to elaborate on that because I know the technical end. Okay. Um, we just finished the sign system, uh, in fact, a couple of days ago for Ethel Walker. And there's a similar lighting technique to that we used up at Ethel Walker. And if you look up here, uh, there's a crown molding on the sign. So we're gonna bury a wash light into that crown molding, uh, a 3000 Kelvin uh, modest luminosity type of wash that will light up the sign itself. And back of the 689, um, this is gonna be a push through style letter. Uh, I'm sorry, a numeral. These will halo around the perimeter just uh, slightly. So uh, fabrication wise, it's all aluminum and PVC, a little bit of acrylic, but it's sprayed in such a way where the finishes are low luster. And if you looked at it, um, you would say it looks like uh, wood. Explain to me again how the 689, 689 is lit. Yeah, so what happens is this. This little piece that projects out from the arm, it projects out about an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half. In there, around the perimeter, we have LED lights on the top and bottom. This is a piece of eighth inch plate aluminum and we stencil cut through that aluminum and then we push through clear acrylic um, about three eighths of an inch worth gets pushed through. The front of that acrylic is opaqued out. So what happens when the lights on the top and bottom of this projection wash up and down, the end effect is a wash kind of a halo around the 689. It glows like a halo light. Okay, I guess uh, I've heard in the past that Simsbury doesn't allow backlit lighting. Is that even maybe you know better if that's considered that or not? Internally lit. Backlit is halo means that there's a cutout in front of it, but this is ingenious to work around because technically it's conforming. It's okay. eliminating it from the top and the bottom, and the transparent acrylic is illuminated sideways, which there's no law against illuminating sideways. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. So congrats. I've never seen that. Yeah, I like the idea. I just wanted to make sure it's not, you know, going to break the rule or the law. Yeah, no, it doesn't. In fact, at Ethel Walker, the um, address was actually 
semi-translucent gold and it glowed around the perimeter and also lit through the face um, barely, but it, it, it illuminated. With this, the face doesn't light at all. So it's just the perimeter um, that sends out this maybe quarter inch glow, I would say. And then, then there's like a, a, a track lighting along the upper um, frame that will show the, the information on the lower sign then. Yeah, so what happens if the, um, th this rendering shows the sign a bit on the thin side, it's actually about three inches thick and the crown molding is about five inches thick. And on each side of the crown molding, there is an acrylic lens that's a frosted lens. And above that lens, there's a row of mini LED lights um, that illuminate at a 3000 Kelvin. And we send the beam downward in a wash. So it, it's slightly brighter up here. And as it descends, you lose some of the luminosity. So it's a wash light. Okay, thank you. It's interesting. Um, it's creative too. I like it. Why don't we go through the rest of the lights though? I, I by all means keep presenting the package and then we can sort of ask questions once okay. we get to that. Very good. Um, we do have four ground directional signs. Um, the four uh, ground directional will be uh, sign B. Um, I can bring it back to the map. Uh, yes, sign B, sign D. So these D. two identify right. the parking areas right. as well as um, K. Correct. K and, and uh, well, K, K is actually a second uh, a secondary sign. That's. Oh, I'm sorry. It's um, sorry. It's J. So let's go through. Sorry. Yep. There you go. That's right. B. So that's B. And we have. Skip over that for now. That's D. Yep. We have D. Then we have. We're going to skip over these for now. That one. Nope. Oh. Won't go back one. I think forward one. There it's you go. G. Yep. We also have G. So. So those are considered the directional signs for parking. So the directional signs are about four square feet uh, each. Um, again, um, it, it gives the opportunity to, you know, more visible, easy to read, um, you know, a better traffic flow um, as far as direction. Um, again, and we're asking for four ground directional signs. Um, as are those all lit the same way as the uh, main sign? They're not. They're not illuminated at all. No. Okay. Is there anything on the reverse side? Um, we're not certain, but if there is, it would be just. Uh, I don't know. Have a nice Again, day. Have a nice Thanks day. for coming. Right now, there's no plans. Okay. Okay, there you are. So you have those. And then we have the two secondary signs. Um, that's, yeah, this, there it is. There's one sign, and I believe that's on the, is that C? Yep, that is on the west side of the um, entrance, um, Route 167. That's West Street entrance, sign C. Let me go back. No, that's that, okay. that, this one's on Hop Meadow. That's and that's the other one at Hop Meadow. Both are ten square feet. Um, again, it just gives the opportunity for this uh, organization, um, you know, to to put the word out. I believe they had something similar to that one before. Um, We're removing but, the main sign on uh, West Street. Correct. There, there is a similar sign on West Street. Um, and we're removing it, kind of uh, moving it towards the, um, I want to say the east of that uh, driveway of that entrance. So as you saw, sign C on the plot plan, that's where it will be located. Well, actually, that's the one with the other one that the old one was located. I'm sorry. And again, uh, K. And th these two okay. signs will have standardized messages that we're preparing for the church or we will be hopefully preparing for the church 
um, with some general uh, information about important dates, um, classes, Sunday school, times of worship. Um, we anticipate that we'll probably manufacture maybe a half dozen standardized messages and they're changed manually. And what will those messages be stenciled upon? Uh, well, usually for this, we would use a material that would be sprayed to match the background so that it wouldn't appear to be a separate material at all. Is the whole thing made out of ASEC or is it aluminum or? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So the upright posts are probably, uh, I'm going to say those are three by three aluminum. They're capped off with acrylic. Um, the small skirts on the bottom are PVC, um, which is similar to ASEC. It's an exterior uh, tight cast PVC. Um, the tracks are made of uh, PVC and the information strips are acrylic that are sprayed. Um, they're sprayed with acrylic enamel, which is an epoxy paint. So everything that we're producing for the church that goes outside is sprayed with acrylic enamel. It's really the same type of paint that you would see on a car, except um, we use a flattening additive and our finishes are a low luster. Um, they're, they're considered architectural low luster finish. So it's a similar finish to what you might see on uh, your filing cabinets. And what about the bed? Is there something you wanna to present to us about what you're gonna do on the, about the ground under it? It's probably not the best picture you chose a, well, a weed embankment. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this was to just show placement, but um, it probably could have been dolled up a bit. So I would say around each, you'll see mulch, um, a bed of mulch, and depending on how the church feels and what they're able to um, provide, there might be some low sedum. Steve, can I just interject? Um, we at the church have committed to replacing the gardens um, at our church with pollinator habitats. Um, so it would be native pollinator plantings that we would be putting underneath that sign. Thank you. Okay, we'll, we'll get to that in the open discussion. I think I'm going to be circling back, but I don't want to distract. So please proceed. Okay, and uh, we presented the directionals, the main sign, the two secondary signs, and now we have a projecting directional and a wall sign. Um, this uh, project, uh, the wall sign is, is a building landmark sign, um, just identifying uh, that space, Palmer Hall and a projecting sign, it will meet the clearance. I know it's not shown in the renderings, but that will definitely be, um, uh, you know, to identify uh, the entrance to the church offices. Thank yeah, you. this is approximately 10 feet All right. to the bottom. So the color scheme throughout is a white background with black lettering, is that correct? It's consistent? Yeah, I mean, there, there are gold accents. Okay. So if you go to the original, it's probably hard to discern from the rendering, but like 1697, the date the church was established is in gold. Around the perimeter, there's a gold pinstripe. So there's, there's gold accents, but uh, primarily the lettering is black. The first church of Christ actually has a thin gold outline around the perimeter. And I could blow this up a little bit, so maybe you can see. Could you pick up on that? Now we can. Yes, now we can. Okay, so if I could describe the letter, it's a dimensional letter. The inset is black. There's a white pinstripe that's actually called an inset stripe. Around the perimeter, there's a gold stripe that also extends to the edges of the letters. So the edges of the letters are gold, there's an inset of white, and then the centers are black. 
you know, some nice detail. It looks nice. <laughs> I agree. Yeah, it's a high high quality sign, classy. It looks it. Okay, was that um, that's all of them, isn't it? Am I missing something? That's pretty much it. But if you look at all these, you know, this detailing, same on the upper level parking, even the simple signs have that level of detail. All right, and for further, just to reiterate and clarify, the only sign that is illuminated is that main post sign. Is that correct? Correct. Even these uh, message signs are not illuminated, just, just making sure. Uh, to my knowledge, they are not illuminated. I know that um, there is a sign in place right now on West Street. And I believe there are two external lights on it. I don't know if they work. Um, and I don't know if they're going to be recouped. I probably should have a better answer for you, but I, I could research that a bit. Um, otherwise, there's no lighting that I, I've seen. Okay, well, we'll go into the premise since it's not part of the package that's not there if you need to represent i'm sure it can be done administratively um with laura or mike so i don't want to get caught up on that um is there any other aspect of the presentation um that you'd like to draw our attention to um i'm going to call up one piece if you give me just a sec uh let's see it's under ethel walker so this will give you an idea of the lighting that we intend to use. I have a lot called up, so it's it's stalling a bit. Just uh, bear with me for a bit. You know, while he's doing that- um, I have it. Okay, great. <laughs> you guys keep pulling it off at the last second. Well, that's the sign <laughs> during the day. All right. Can you see that sign? It still says church offices is all we see. It's one of the directional signs. Um, okay. Let me try the share. Hang on. Well, that this part, I might be a bit foiled. So I was going to show you a nighttime shot of, uh, Ethel Walker. Here, here, I think I can do it. Hang on. I, I think wouldn't be I can interested do it. in seeing it. You, you have to see it. It's imperative. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see now. Hey, Linda. Would you mind coming down? If you stop screen sharing and then open it. In my oh, work, it's a new it's a share. Okay, I have it. Does this work? There you are. Yes. Okay, so you see that, right? So that's daytime. Now I wanna show it to you at night. Could you, can you see that? No, it's still daytime. You see the daytime one. Okay, hang on just a sec. As you can see, I'm not a master at the, uh... oh, here we go, new shear. I'm going to pull this off. Can you see that? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, I'm using my phone. Um, I have to hire a professional photographer now that we have all the signs up. But this gives you some idea of the uh, light technique. So just to reiterate, that 230 is not internally lit. That's external illumination. Well, in this case, the lighting is above and below the 230, but the 230 does illuminate. In this situation with the uh, church, the address is completely opaque except for the illumination around the perimeter. Okay. Now, this kind of exaggerates what's there. If you drive out at night, you'll see. Um, but what will happen with the church is the letters opaque out so that they're actually um, a complete halo. 
This is a halo and a semi-translucent face. And the only reason for this, it's the only sign on the premise with the address. Okay. All right. So that wraps up the presentation, I believe. Correct? I don't want to cut you off. I didn't mean to be presented. No, nope. that, that's about all we can tell you. All okay, right. Thank you. Um, we do have at least one person calling in. I forgot who it was, but is there anyone from the public that would like to express any input on this application? All right, hearing none. Um, the commissioners, uh, does anyone have any questions for the applicant for clarification? Nope. All right, with that, let's close the application. Um, so I appreciate your presentation. I think we pretty much have a great grasp on it. Uh, commissioners, let's deliberate upon um, what we've been presented with. Uh, Anka, let's start with you. <laughs> what do you got? <laughs> Thank you, Linda and Lauren. Very nice presentation. And I like everything you showed us uh, aesthetically, the whole, signage package is, I think, very appropriate to the church function. I like the fonts. I like the lighting. It's very interesting. So overall, I approve everything you showed us tonight. Thank you. Thanks, Annika. Thank you. That was oh. easy. <laughs> but as I said, it was a very nice presentation. Elaine, how about you? Do you have any questions or comments? No, I don't. I think it's, it's a great design. It's very harmonious with the architecture of the church and the rest of the kind of downtown zone. So I, I think it looks great. Very nice. Cool. And Polly, do you have any input? Uh, nothing to add other than uh, it's very attractive. I look forward to it all being uh, installed so we can see it in person. Okay. And that Brings it to me, which unfortunately I do have a question. Chris, oh, sure. what does pollinator <laughs> mean? Oh. I apologize for my lack of knowing, but I, I don't know what that implies. So um, there is a movement about the pollinator pathway, um, about having native plants um, support the pollinators, whether they're birds or bees. And um, the church is going to be a showcase property where we are um, doing many of our gardens over um, with native pollinator friendly plantings um, to be part of that pathway and to be a showcase property um, in downtown. So my concern and the reason I, I brought this back up is the height of any plantings you place. We don't want them to obstruct the bottom of the sign. I'm sure neither do you, but the planting stage is the stage to acknowledge what you're going to plant and what the mature growth will be. Um, and then we, I, I'd like to also ask if it would be within your expectations that there would be a bed of perhaps uh, riverbed gravel or mulch around those plantings. So there was some defining area. It would be um, mulch right now. Um, the reason you see the tall grasses is because we have um, survey stakes in that location. Normally that's manicured lawn, but the um, lawn company hasn't been cutting that area because uh, they don't want to move the stakes because our paving is happening in two weeks. Um, so it would be mulch, which is consistent with what's around the rest of the church. And the plantings would be low um, because we don't want them to impede on the signs. Okay, so um, I, that answers my question. Like I said, I was just looking for an assurance that there would be some forethought to what's actually planted. Um, would someone else like to make a motion? Stephen, or I've also joined the call. This is Kate Beal, sorry, I just wanted to let you know. I, I did, I joined um, a short uh, time ago, halfway through that presentation, but given that I didn't see it all and I'm also a member of First Church, I'm gonna abstain from voting, if, unless you need my vote for some reason. No, to be honest, okay. thank you for offering. I'm glad that you are here. Um, yeah. So I'll make, a, I'll make the motion just to cut to the chase and keep this meeting rolling along. I'd like to make a motion for a positive referral regarding application 21-22 of the first church of the class. I'm so sorry, Chris. <laughs> Can I have a refresher and I'll restart my motion? Ecclesiastical. 
Thank you. I'd like to make a motion for a positive referral of application 21-22 of the First Church of Ecclesiastical Society of Simsbury Incorp Incorporated uh, with applicant Linda Loriano of Artifact Science Agent application for a special exception pursuant to 9.6 of the zoning applications for the construction of new permanent signs and identification signs with the one stipulation that there is uh, low growth um, plantings below the sign that will not obstruct the sign in any manner. Would someone like to second that? I second. Oh. All right. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Against? And abstain? One, Eight. me. Okay. <laughs> Great. Well, that passes forward with a positive referral. Thank you for your time. We appreciate your efforts. Thanks a lot. We appreciate your time. Thank you. All right. With that being done, let's move forward with application 21-23 of the Iron Horse LLC and co-owner of Freedom Property LLC, applicant Luke Florian, agent application for a site plan amendment pursuant to 4.2 of the Simsbury Center Code for the conversion of a motel to an apartment complex located at 969 Hot Meadow Street. Hi, Luke. Thank you for being patient. Yeah, sure. No problem. Glad to be here. Would you like to uh, present? Yeah, actually. So I just uh, I wanted to know, uh, you know, from the board, what questions did you have or what were your main concerns um, in terms of a, a, a actual presentation? Um, a lot of, you know, we still have a lot of uh, things in question when it comes to the um, exact materials and colors, but we have a broad um, idea of what direction we're moving in. Okay, um, I'll be upfront. Usually we like you to present something and then we deliberate and vote. Okay. We don't like to make a suggestion because that's not sure. really how it's supposed to work. That okay. You said we did receive your packet, so we okay. do have something to go on. Um, has everyone had time to review the packet? Yep. Yeah, okay. I looked at it. I just didn't see any signage, really. I mean, there's there's the um, the floor plan so and then some um, one rendering of the storefront or the, the apartment front, but I didn't see any signs right. in the packet. It, it's not the sign for this one. We're looking at the plantings and the general site plan from a standpoint oh, okay. of what is it? Is it complementing the neighbors? Is it complementing the town? Um, yeah, I guess it wasn't clear with the document that I looked at. Sorry. For our purview, yeah. we're looking for materials, color schemes, texture, mechanical screening, which does come into play because there's a dumpster. Sure. And a carport. I could um I could do an overview uh, for you guys, and uh, and Peter can kind of chime in where uh, where he he uh, feels it may be irrelevant, and um and yeah, so I can just do a let me see I can. Share my screen. I did. I kind of thought you would say that, Steve. So uh, I did pull up a couple of documents. So I can just review them with you guys. I have a general question. This is because sure. I've lived here forever. Sure, Paul. How many? How many? Um, like, are you, you transferring from mot or hotel rooms to apartments? Yes. And how yep. many apart or rooms were there? And how many apartments will there be? Yep, twenty-five apartments. And how many rooms were there before? Uh, there, I believe it's 28 rooms. Okay. Uh, so currently. it's almost like it's the same footprint, just kind of reorganized inside yeah. the base use? Okay. Correct. Yep. Thank you. Absolutely. Sure. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, I can just do a screen share here. And this would probably be the best to show you uh, the landscaping design that we had submitted. So, and the big thing is, you know, we did want to uh, provide some screening to, to the south over here with some of these, these trees and these evergreen, evergreens right here. It's really just accentuating the building um, with, with some stuff around the entrance. Uh, the signage, we haven't designed the signage just yet. That may be a separate design review board meeting uh, as we get to that, but we're going to replace the existing signing with something that's a little bit more uh, modern that'll go with uh, the new color scheme and everything of the building. 
And we have some additional screening to neighbor on the north, the Udoff property here. And this is the uh, amenity space that we have proposed as well. And the I, I think the the garbage enclosure was uh, that of a concern. Um, I may have heard of that somewhere. And so with this, it's just going to be surrounded by an eight foot uh, vinyl stockade fence with a gate. So it won't be it won't be visible uh, to the neighbors. You mean six foot by chance, Luke? Eight foot uh, it, it, you know, I think it was noted as eight foot, but I could be wrong. I, it, it may be six feet. All right, so that's. So when you say have. evergreen, shall I assume that really means arborvitae for my purposes? Yeah, I'd say arborvitaes. Uh, we do have um, a list of the, the plants we're going to be using over here, which are called out throughout the entire landscape plan. So we want to really stick with, you know, some simple things that are going to accentuate the property. Okay. All um, right. Let's pan out to tell us about the color of the building. You know what what the facade will actually look like from the street. Sure. I don't think you have elevations, but if you could at least describe. Yeah. It. Uh, Peter, would you be able to chime in on that? He's still on. I don't think he wants to. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I know it was it was a little last minute for him. Um, well, if he's, uh, if he reconnects or gets, um, uh, it's on. So the exterior is going to be, uh, really a, a lot of earth tones, like, uh, light, uh, lighter earth tone colors with, a uh, darker, like with a darker, uh, contrasting trim. Um, it's going to be the exterior. We're going to keep the existing stone and we're going to take some of the, uh, the earth tone colors from the stone. And that that's what we'll be basing our, uh, the color of the building off of. Um, it's likely we're going to be do, redoing uh, all of the siding. It's not going to be the, um, the, the, the wood clad. It's going to be a vinyl, a vinyl siding, uh, likely have a mixture of wood shake and traditional uh, siding on, on the, the exterior of the property. And then the, the decks are going to be, uh, think like farmhouse, uh, farmhouse contemporary. So the decking will have like uh, new railings installed, uh, mostly Trex deck, uh, vinyl, and it'll also be, um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking we want to use the stainless steel cables. Uh, it'll give it a real nice uh, sharp look that'll, that'll um, you know, look a lot better than what's there currently. So um, that's the direction we're going in at least. We are finalizing, we did hire a, um, a design firm uh, as well that will be, uh, presenting materials to us will be uh, bringing those to your attention as well as we make our final decisions. Um, we can discuss it, but I got to be honest, Luke, without even mm -hmm. knowing the color scheme, I don't know as we're going to have to be, we're going to be able to give a final. Yeah, report. I completely understand. And, um, and really, I just, I don't have the colors picked out yet. So we're, we're still, you know, for me to give you what colors we're going to be using would be a disservice, not just, um, you know, to the, the design review board, but also to us. Like we're just, you know, we're really putting this all together um, still as well. So that our floor plans are just about complete, uh, but, the, you know, the colors and the finishes and, and whatnot are, uh, are still little in the air. We know what direction we're going in, but it's just, it's too early still. No worries. It, it, it's developing nicely. It looks nice. We're we're here to help you. Yeah. And not that there's something to protect you them from, but also protect the neighbor in providing a harmonious streetscape for everybody. Sure. Everybody's benefit. Um, sure. The big thing was 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 the screening here on the on the southern edge correct. of the property. So that was you know I know the doctor um, he, he was concerned with that. So I think we can alleviate that. Um, his concern there. I'll be um, honest, Luke. I, I'm going to have to push back a little on that. You've got three to four foot high arborvitaes, which, you know, unless you're sitting on the ground, aren't really what the doctor was looking for. He was looking for screening. Perhaps yeah. if you put a berm under those arborvitaes, it would elevate it to about 
five or six feet, which was what I would consider screening. <laughs> okay. But it's got to be, you know, that you you had implied at the ZBA meeting um, that you were in agreement that you mm -hmm. would uh, screen. And Correct. In no, no, pulled it back you're, you're to where the building was instead of the okay. whole whole lot line. Yep, you're you're absolutely right. And um, and the other thing he he wanted was just to delineate the two properties, so so that way, uh, people wouldn't just kind of meander on over to to his side. So, but I, I agree with you on that. And we could we could do either a berm or just do something that grows a little bit uh, taller as well. Okay, and the um, just to to also discuss it, there's a chain link fence which is really just a chain link fence. Uh, it's also on that southern border. I'm sticking with that first. We'll, we'll okay, go to the western sure. border in just a second. Yeah, um, sure. Do you perhaps have plans to replace that maybe with a nicer black fence is sort of in fashion now or just something a little more uh, fashionable for lack of a better word? I'm sure. sure someone else on the board has a better word. Well, I'm thinking something to coordinate with the, um, the metal uh, balconies that you were describing that you're going sure. to be upgrading. And so have something to coordinate with that so it kind of all fits. It all works. Yeah. I mean, it's we didn't actually have any plans uh, to replace any of the metal fencing, but that's uh, definitely something we would we can strongly consider. I'll be honest, I don't think you need to replace any poles. We're really just talking about the physical yeah, the mesh. Fencing. Yeah. Um, I'll have to I gotta take a good look at it, but if it needs it, I mean we want to do everything in one in one swoop. You know, we don't want to go back and fix I'll little things here and there. I think it would be a, a, a potentially acceptable if it was just maintained, perhaps with top coating it with a okay. rubber type substance. Sure. Um, if we could also just go to that western boundary, though, um, behind sure. the carports, you had also discussed with the applicant to the west, Seth Joseph. Yes. Uh, that you would provide something in the form of trees to screen we talked about ground cover being too low and that perhaps mm -hmm. a tree would be more suitable uh okay. to screen so, this view. sure this area here is pretty it's pretty densely um it's pretty dense trees already um we could we could do something else in addition to that um but the you know in i remember in meeting we had um uh, this is this whole roof covering here is going to be um, quite a, a screen from his property to you know, keep light from exiting the property, shining onto his 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 yard, his area. Um, and um, I just I'm not sure it's it's necessary. Okay. I, uh, you know, but if it's if it's something that you you got to have, you know, we could we could definitely we can consider it. But I just don't see it being necessary. Um, Looking on um, maps, is there a swimming pool in the back there right now? There, there is, and and we're most certainly going to get rid of that. Okay, I just never knew that was there. That's funny. So that's yeah. going to become more of your parking back there. Correct. Yep. Okay. Yep. Laura, can I inquire? Was Seth? Um, not quite. What's his last name? Uh, Seth. I apologize. Seth Joseph. Was he alerted that this was before us tonight? that he could dial in if he wanted to? The agenda was posted in there. Always is a little spot for public if a public audience wants to join uh, us. Nope, then that sort of carries that. So um, I, I agree with Luke. There is a lot of screening behind the trees. I don't remember the specifics and it's beyond my present knowledge. Um, okay. Um, Laura, if I could still pick your brain a little bit, how should we do this? Because we don't have any elevations or anything. I mean, we've had some real good feedback. I don't want to hamper him. I want to keep him rolling forward. So what do we do? Well, I don't believe he's going to be able to go forward with zoning tonight anyway, at this point. Um, I believe we're still waiting for engineering comments. So he probably will be, he'll be before the board next or the zoning commission next week as well. I don't know if that's enough time to, to handle all the details that you're looking for more information on. Well, elevations. Um, but anyways, without further ado, yeah. if it's okay with everybody, um, I'd like to ask the other commissioners for their input since you've been kind enough to spend the time with us. Uh, just going in the same order, Anka, how are you feeling about uh, this? 
I feel good. I feel good. Uh, definitely, we need more more information, more details. Uh, my very first question for you, Luke, just to make sure you sure. remain within the same footprint, right? Correct. The, okay. The bill. You don't put any no additions, no extra canopies, decks, balconies, or anything. Okay. So. Stay with so just to be very clear, uh, we, we are proposing a 12 car um, carport uh, right here uh, at the rear of the property next to the, uh, the garbage enclosure. Okay. So will I just you be do want to call down, that out. Will you be taking down existing trees that are there? I don't, I don't want to take down any existing trees if we can avoid it. Okay. So where so. the pool is, is where that back parking lot will be. And the carport will be at the edge of the trees that I see on the satellite view right now. Correct. Yep. Uh, and then there, there is a, um, there's like a, a storage shed uh, at the, the edge of the Udoff proper, uh, property. Uh, that shed will be coming down. Oh, I see it. Yes. On the yes. north side? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, just so you grasp it, the, that backyard has a pretty steep incline to it. So he'll be excavating and then putting a retaining wall along the back. Am I wrong, Luke? I don't mean to be. No, you're, you're absolutely right. Okay. Okay. So there will be some management of some of that um, growth, that tree growth back there. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, Polly, do you have any additional questions for him? For Anya? No, but I just, I just want to have you remember, look to think about, um, and Stephen's always good at remembering this. Yeah. Kind of keep in mind some of the the colors and um, stone aspects of other buildings in Simsbury, you know, at the center. Absolutely. Like the, the Belden colors mm -hmm. and, um, and other things that kind of like, I, I know you're not in downtown per se, because I think seminary kind of is a, is yeah. a gate to the North, but sure. um, yeah. if, if you have options that kind of blend in with some of the Simsbury stone um, works would be yep. great. I, I can't agree with you more. Um, no, we definitely want to, um, we want to enhance the area by, you know, making it look like it belongs there. I don't want this to stick out, you know, for sure. So, yeah. So, uh, so maybe just take a walk and, and, um, <laughs> you have your designer take a walk mm -hmm. and, and look at what's there. Um, and you have, you have the, to the North, uh, the, the red brick, uh, apartment buildings or condos. I'm not sure what they are. Yeah. But that's just another piece of it to have it kind of be, you know, sure. use, use what's around to kind of blend it. Not blend, but, you know, be distinctive, but blend. <laughs> Whatever that means. <laughs> yep. I, I can't agree with you more. Okay. Thank you. That's my thought. Okay. Right. Elaine, wake up. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Uh, no, wait, it looks good. Guys, this is not done. I'm not done yet. Fully <laughs> oh, go. I'm sorry, Anka. Okay. I'm still here. Yeah, go okay, ahead. Sure. You know what, though? I did have one other comment that pertains to Anka. Luke, you are replacing the balconies. She had asked if there were balconies and decks. And oh, yeah, there well, are. there are. Um, so I'll, I'll just I'll clarify that for you. Um, so there are uh, uh, there's a number of them that we're actually removing. Because the layout of the building, if you look at this um, right here, it kind of shows what the the, this is the, the ground floor level, what it looks like, right? So as it sits right now, the building on the second and third floor has uh, four units. And so we're taking those four units and we're making it three. So right now there's one, two, three, four balconies. So we're going to eliminate uh, two uh, on each side. So yeah, four. Yeah, so I think it's, uh, I want to say 12 balconies are getting removed and the rest that remain will be staying. Uh, and those are the ones that will be upgrading the materials, but we're not gonna be adding anything. If anything, there'll be less balconies. Okay. 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 My, my, only, my only comment, Luke, please, I know you're trying to do a great job, you and your sure. team. When you guys uh, are all set on uh, materials, exterior for, for the facade, um, yes. I would like to see samples if possible. We could do that. Yeah, we could drop them off right right down to town hall for sure. Um, yeah, we, we'll find a way. We'll find a way yeah. because yeah, this is part of, of our design review scope. We were always okay. uh, looking not only at color schemes but also um, materials. Yeah. And 
if you can provide a, a you know a package with with the, with samples that would be great absolutely and yeah so good luck. you're doing a great job thank you thank you oh thank you Thanks, Akka. I appreciate that point. It's something we've sorely missed moving into Zoom. And are we going to keep, I mean, I'm so off topic. Are we going to keep Zooming or are we ever going to go back in person? Eventually we will, but right now we're still in the hybrid stage. So our choices now, and Laura, please correct me if I'm wrong, are to either go hybrid or Zoom. And hybrid is like half ass, excuse me, uh, halfway Zoom. <laughs> Um, because you still have to have it available for everyone to zoom on. So that's okay. why at this point we're just zooming because otherwise just a couple of us would be zooming from town hall and the other people as well as potentially applicants would be zooming or in person. So this way everyone's just on equal footing. But long term, definitely we're, we're going back to in-person presentations. Yeah, only because that's an easier way to look at samples you know, in person versus samples on a screen. It's just like, send me a Home Depot link. So. Um, well, I'm sure Laura and Mike Lydon would drive them around to each of our houses. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of course. Mike Thanks, would love Laura. to. <laughs> I'll make a cocktail at the end of the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, so Polly, were you? Did you have additional comments? Anka, no, I was all set. Time. Thank you. I just want to make sure you know, keep in mind the the colors and stuff of Simsbury that you know are established. All right. Oh, well, I could probably I could probably have the colors. The exact colors are very close to it um, within the next week or so. Um, yeah, my design team's really good, and um, they're yeah, I mean they're fantastic. I just uh, I actually I wasn't. Um, I wasn't aware we were actually going to have the design review board meeting um, this evening until this morning. So um, I, I must have just made the cutoff. So thanks for having me regardless. <laughs> Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Elaine, what, uh, what input do you, can you share? Please? Uh, um, I mean, it's very preliminary. The prelim preliminary uh, ideas look good. Um, I echo Polly's point. You know, I think you said you're going to leave whatever stone is there currently um if you were going to re replace the stone i would echo native redstone being preferable i know you've got very dated architecture to work with um so i uh give you a preliminary good luck and look forward to getting to evaluate <laughs> materials and signage at a subsequent meeting thank you cool. Kate, are you with us? Yep. Hey, do I'm you here. Us? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can totally hear you. All right. Uh, yeah, so that sounds good. It's really exciting. Um, always like it when we can refresh something and make things a little bit more up to date. So it sounds like a good direction you're going in with the farmhouse kind of modern take on the building and just bringing it up to date. Um, so I'm excited. And I, yeah, I think just to echo what everybody else says, it'll be great to see more information. And I hope like there'll be some elevations or like a three dimensional, like kind of, you know, some sort of visual snapshot of what the, at least the front or the pertinent views would be, um, not just to see the materials, but to understand like the application of them. Sure. Um, I do have one additional thing, Luke. Can you explain sure. what rock garden is? Is that like flagstone rocks or the? Um, yeah, so rocks? this is this is actually a drainage area um, that we have to we have to install because of all the, the parking that we're doing. So um, that was uh, our landscape architect's way of just making sure that it's um, visually uh, appealing, you know, and not just uh, just this just rock garden with nothing around it. So um, it, it, I think it'll look really nice and it'll, it'll kind of, um, it'll, it'll just add to the ambiance of the area. Yeah, you know, sounds so. better than infiltration basin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right, uh, yeah, exactly. I, I wasn't so. sure if that was like a hangout area or something. So now I fully understand. Yep. And just for clarif further for clarification, though, I see two, not semicircles, but curved things. What are those? 
Do you see it right over Rock Garden? Just oh, so I can oh right here. Yeah, you know what? I don't. I don't think that they have any uh, real function. Um, I think that was. I think that might have been just something the I architects threw in there just to kind of break up the area. So maybe it's like a different shade of of rock or or what have you. I have I have one other question. I see the dog sure. lawn. Do you have a place where like if residents want to like meet outside at a picnic table? Yep. Yeah, we do have that right over here. Um, so we want to have uh, two to two to three. Um, oh, okay, great. Yeah, picnic areas. Is, there, is it going to have a roof or a pavilion or just all outside? No, uh, it'll it'll be just um, you know it'll be exposed. So okay. yeah, no cover Maybe area. Some umbrellas or something like them. Something. Yeah. Like that. Yep. For sure. Okay. Yeah, we know potentially okay. some of the umbrellas and yep. Okay. It says pergola, Luke. Luke, it sure. says pergola. Is it your intention to do what's on the plans? Just no, no, pergola. no the pergola. We're not doing a pergola. He just snuck that in there on me. No yeah. pergola. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, it's screened anyway, so yeah. That's mostly your business what you do in there. Yeah. Um, any other last call for comments or conversations with Luke? Okay, Laura, if I could revert back to you, our next meeting, is he going to be seeing zoning before our next meeting or the same day as our next meeting? Correct. Okay, so Luke, if you can just remember, mm -hmm. elevations, sure. uh, colors, material samples, and if there's any textures or anything, and then flipping over to landscaping, are you going to include berms was one of the things. Um, the chain link you were going to look at, to be honest, next time I drive by, I'll take a look. So I'm a little more yeah, yeah, sure. what that comment was. And um, that's really all we're looking for. That's it. That's all we're looking for. That's hey, you know what? It. That's That's not bad. I'll take it. <laughs> all right. Well, with that being said, I'd like to table application 21-23. Look forward to seeing you again, Luke, and we appreciate you making us part of your efforts. Thank you. Absolutely. No problem. Thanks have, for having me. I have me. One, other, one other comment. We don't meet sure. again until November 15th because we don't meet November 1st. Laura, does that affect the schedule? We don't meet the night before election day. Oh, that is correct. I know we, last year, the year before, we did meet the night before election day for, um, I think it was McLean when they were doing their big, big job because they wanted to get things going. So I just didn't want to hold Luke up if, if he's going to make us, if we're going to make him wait another month. I appreciate that. Um, but so we're November 15th. I mean, we're not going to be doing anything and we're not going to actually be doing the exterior work until probably uh, spring, March, April. So, okay. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that if you needed approval within the next two weeks from DRB, we can't do it according to our schedule unless we make a special meeting, which I'm sure you're all happy to do <laughs> for Luke. <laughs> all right. Luke is implied. He's cool with how it is. So let's yeah. I just want to make sure. So it's forgettable that that meeting isn't on the schedule. So, I'll I'll make sure I get you guys um, the actual samples of what we'll be using, and um, I'll have I'll have everything by November fifteenth, you know, submitted before then. So, yeah, before then, so we can yep. get to the samples because yeah. we have that additional uh, sure. burden of trying to get to the samples. I'm not sure how we'll figure that out, but we'll we can do that. Oh, yeah, I'll get them to you. Okay. All right. Thanks again for your time, Luke. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you all and uh, have a good night. You Thanks, too. Luke. Bye bye. Right. Good luck. Take happy care. Halloween. Bye bye. Yeah. Happy Halloween. <laughs> um, okay. Did anyone else take a look at the minutes from the September 20th regular meeting? A lot of empty stuff. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did. But I didn't read word, uh, read word for word. That's a general gist. And I think it encompassed, I did. I did the same thing. I did a scan, but I, I didn't find anything that was not in it was correctly encapsulated in the likewise. Process. Yeah, um, looks good to me. Yeah, they were they were they were clear and covered everything we had discussed. 
Would someone like to make a motion, perhaps, in regards to these minutes? Mo uh, move to accept the minutes of the Design Review Board meeting of September 20th, 2021. I'll second. All right. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, against and abstain. Abstain. I wasn't present. All right. Well, I appreciate that, Anka. So we uh, do approve them. And then we have anything that anyone wants to talk about or ask while we're together before we adjourn. Okay. <laughs> well, I think this is the longest meeting we've had for a, Quite a while. For a yeah. while. <laughs> Without further ado, let's somebody make the motion besides me for adjournment. Motion to adjourn. Yeah. Although second. someone wants to second it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. It's unanimous. Thank you. I appreciate it, everyone. Have a great Thanks, night. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Have a good See night. See you later.